dear students today we are going to discuss again sixth class history chapter 1 pre history and history and we shall begin from the very beginning and this video will be helpful for those students especially who don't have still books this is our chapter 1 free history and history we shall start from the very beginning by reading the text and its explanation but in the very beginning i beg your pardon that it's not possible for me to explain in hindi that may be done in the class when we will meet in future but here i am trying to explain even if it is in simple english look at the text and uh, i hope you will be able to understand look at the pictures shown below look at these pictures the one on the left shows a museum so on the left side this is the picture of a museum and what is museum? A museum is a place where things are discovered from the past are kept carefully. A museum is a place where things are discovered from the past are kept carefully. So museum is a place of keeping the things of the past and which are preserved and kept carefully anything which are discovered at present which are the things of the past those things are kept carefully in a place called museum have you ever been to a museum and wondered about the people who crafted the wonderful sculptures, paintings and pottery kept there? So this is a question asked to the students. That have you ever been? Did you ever go? Did you ever visit any museum? And uh, were you surprised by seeing the things kept in the museum like the sculptures? sculptures like this shown in the picture in this picture this picture sculptures then that means uh, sculpture means especially in uh, ancient Greek civilization the artists the, they were called sculptors they made these kind of these kinds of uh, idols in their own hands this is a kind of artistic work then paintings paintings you know that is done with brass and color and pottery different types of pots made of clay etc or have you ever gone for a trip to some old fort suppose like the picture on the right side on the right side there is a picture of old fort And as this Punjab region is very close to Rajasthan, Delhi, so um, in a tour you can have an experience of observing forts. There are innumerable forts in Rajasthan. And in our nearest place in Bhatinda, there is also one fort. Here Rajya Sultana was kept as a convict. So, have you ever gone for a trip to some old fort like the picture on the right and wanted to know more about the people who built and lived in those huge forts? These are the questions, simple questions, general questions asked to the students that have you ever visited in your life any museum? Have you ever visited any fort? And were you surprised by seeing the structure of these forts? Uh, 
did such kind of questions arise in your mind when you visited if you visited the forts did such kind of questions arise in your mind that uh, who built it and if you visited any museum did such kind of questions arise in your mind that uh, which are these things uh, and to which civilization did this belong to like that so this chapter always remember this is one uh, of our introductory chapter chapter 1 means introductory chapter so these are the simple questions asked to the students it is this desire to know more about those who lived before us that leads us to study history so this is the necessity of reading history why do we study history history leads us to know more about the people and their lifestyles of the past it is the desire to know more about those who lived before us and leads us to study history this is the purpose of studying or reading history by reading history we can come to know the things of the past the lifestyles of the past the lifestyles of the people of the past and what is history history is a written account of people places and event of the past so history is a subject always related to past by reading history we can come to know the things and incidents of the past the informations about past the informations of the people who are already dead past their lifestyles and everything with their ways of life it tells us how when where people lived where they did what they did and what their customs beliefs are etc where do they where did they live uh, what were their activities what were their livelihood by doing which kind of works they lived they survived and uh, which rules did they follow etc etc it also tells us the way they traded traded means their business what were their business by which process did they make money the wars they fought how did they fight in earlier times as nowadays we find the fighters use firearms arms and ammunition firearms instead of rather weapons steel weapons or iron weapons but in ancient time in past days in old days the soldiers used weapons nowadays the soldiers use instead of elephants or horses they use flight ships etc the wars they fought and rulers who governed them prehistory on the other hand is an accounts of events that happened or may may have happened before people invented writing so from the very term we can understand prehistory means before history by reading history we can come to know about everything of the past past people their lifestyle their customs how did they fight how did they live etc etc prehistory means the incidents before history whose records are not kept to us about prehistory we don't have any uh, records in most cases and we have to guess we have to depend on the guess work history is divided into three main periods ancient medieval and modern this year we will study about the ancient period of history so as we are in the sixth class we have to start from ancient then step by step we will learn medieval and modern the more we proceed towards the higher classes we will come to know towards our modern period now the question is why do we study history 
हिस्ट्री एंड प्री हिस्ट्री सो हाउ थिंग्स आर ऑलवेज चेंजिंग लाइफ वॉज डिफरेंट टू हंड्रेड ईयर्स से गो एंड इवन मोर सो टू थाउजेंड ईयर्स से गो हिस्ट्री स्टार इज दीज चेंजेस एंड द फैक्टर्स दैट कॉज दिज चेंजेस सो वट इज द नेसेसिटी ऑफ रीडिंग हिस्ट्री बाई रीडिंग हिस्ट्री और प्री हिस्ट्री वे कम टू नो हाउ आवर लाइव हैव बीन चेंज what is the lifestyle of present people modern day people it was not the lifestyle of people of 100 years ago or 1000 years ago. in every century in every year in every age there were changes life was different 2000 years ago the lifestyle of human beings of people was different 2000 years ago even more so 2000 years ago it was also different 2000 years ago from now history study these changes and the factors that caused these changes and the purpose of history is to study these changes how these changes were done how these changes had been brought and what were the factors of those changes history also teaches us many lessons for instance when it tells us about how some people revolted against a cruel king it inspires us to fight against cruelty and injustice by reading history sometimes we come to know about some cruel rulers some rude and cruel rulers kings and the subjects or country people of his kingdom how did they fight against those rulers how did the protest how they protested how did they make protest against those rulers we come to know and by that knowledge we are also inspired nowadays to fight against our corrupted or bad rulers if there is any such similarly it also shows us how during periods of peace rich cultures developed and beautiful works of art were created and there were some periods in history in ancient time in past time when uh, there were very less warfare less less fightings so at that time what happened culture was developed culture culture means any kind of good work any kind of practice that makes people enriched not only an individual not only a single person that makes enriched a person his locality his village his country etc culture cultures include uh, the things like singing painting then composition of poetry drama literature etc and the beautiful works of art were created beautiful works like the sculptures making up different idols with chisel and hammer making that uh, stone i mean idols made of stone etc etc i mean beautiful things making any kind of beautiful things that is part of culture and it was possible when there was no warfare so we also come to know about both good and bad things by reading history then sources of prehistory prehistory deals with a very distant past there are no written records from this period the main sources of information of prehistory are archaeology and oral traditions stories handed down from generation to generation by word of mouth as i have already told you there were not enough proofs of prehistory we have enough proofs of history but not prehistory so we can get the informations about prehistory from archaeology archaeology is a subject you know and uh, oral traditions oral means oral tradition means the informations that are past over from generation to generation 
then these two terms what is archaeology archaeology means the study of ancient things in greek it is the study of the physical remains of the past so what is archaeology by archaeology we can come to know about free history the incidents before history also i mean distant past about the distant past we can come to know what is archaeology archaeo always remember where at the end of the world that suffix like logi l o g y biology physiology whatever archaeology l o g y logi means it is a kind of study study of ancient things in greeks it is the study of the physical remains of the past so archaeology is the study of ancient ancient cities and villages are often buried under soil water or volcanic ash these places called archaeological sites are carefully excavated dug out by the archaeologists whenever we give any tour we go for a trip to delhi or any historical places say for example nearby although it is situated in pakistan harappan harappan civilization the debris of harappan civilization the remains of harappan civilization is very close when the tourists visit there they can come to know about the ancient history of those places from archaeological sources and these are called archaeological sites why because ancient cities and villages are often buried buried means covered covered under soil water or volcanic gas due to some natural calamities like volcanic eruptions like water means due to flood or soil in the sense uh, because of earthquake these ancient cities or villages ancient civilization they were totally went under under our earth that is called buried under soil that's why we are unable to know but it is the function of the archaeologists to discover those sites and by excavation this is called excavated dug out digging out excavation they discovered these things the open of these things to us that's why we the common people can come to know about these civilizations of ancient time in detail and these sites these places are called archaeological sites archaeologists study the artifacts and fossils they find in these sites to understand the ancient past better by digging out by excavation the archaeologists they also discover different type of artifacts different uh, fossils and from these sources they can come to know more and more about the past there is a picture of archaeological excavating a site archaeologists excavating a site archaeological site what is artifacts tools weapons pottery toys ornaments and other things used in ancient times have been uncovered at archaeological sites all over the world these are called artifacts meaning objects crafted by humans tools means any type of things weapons different types of weapons used by those ancient people in their warfare in their battlefield pottery different types of uh, pots made of clay then toys especially for the children or ornaments used by the women and other things used in ancient times have been uncovered why uncovered because they were covered under the ground under our earth when the archaeologist dug them out they uncovered the discovered these things at archaeological sites all over the world these are called artifacts in a word meaning objects crafted by humans these are the works of art made by human beings archaeologists conduct scientific tests to determine how old the artifacts are 
the study and compare their shape sizes patterns to understand how people lived in the past and by doing research on these artifacts or artifacts archaeologists they try to understand the details of the past by considering the shape size patterns of these artifacts they study and compare their shapes shapes of these things size patterns to understand how people lived in the past and by doing research on these things they can come to know the ways of the people how did they lead their life in the past there is a picture these are artifacts excavated from different sites you can see the pottery on the top once excavated most artifacts are carefully preserved in museums and these things are kept carefully in a place called museum that we discussed in the beginning then the second term fossils what is fossil sometimes when animals die their bodies or parts of them get fixed in rocks or ice these remains or the impressions are called fossils artifacts these are inanimate objects lifeless things made by human beings but fossils means you can think the imprint imprint or impression impression of animals impression of living beings especially because of earthquakes or flood or any other natural calamities when animals and other living beings they died they went under earth and their body their dead bodies got fixed in rocks in ice and due to the pressure due to temperature and pressure high pressure these bodies created a kind of impression on the rock and those rocks became hardened very hard that's why those impressions remained this kind of impressions are called fossils these dead bodies live are called fossils the fossil of a fish that fish is not still alive but what is the importance of this information see from this picture suppose this is the fossil of say for example 2000 years ago then we can easily guess that this kind of animal or living being or fish or river that this kind of fish was available in that time in that period the remains of plants could also form fossils archaeologists use fossils as an important evidence of life in the past for instance fossils help archaeologists understand which animals were tamed in prehistoric times which are wild this is how we know that dogs were tamed almost 12000 years ago that dogs were a kind of pets that means domestic i mean uh, tamed animals or pet we can come to know from the fossils dating the discoveries objects carefully dug out by archaeologists are first sent to laboratories here tests are carried out to find out how ancient they are an important method used by archaeologists is known as carbon dating in this method the amount of carbon trapped in bones or post hearts broken pieces of pottery pot hearts is studied in order to understand how old objects are that means this is the function of the archaeologist by digging by digging out these things after the digging out they send these things into the lab or laboratories for experimentation for tests and at first they try to fix the date 
try to discover the proper dates of those things to which period did they belong to and they, there is a special system or method that is called carbon dating in this method amount of carbon trapped in bones or pots hearts broken pieces of pottery is studied in order to understand how old the objects are however this is not a function to understand in detail uh, the archaeologist can understand this uh, by applying this method carbon dating that how old these things are and it's very necessary also that so that they can get an idea that okay these things are 2000 years old or 200 years old the role of archaeologists archaeologists are considered to be scientists of history they study the skeletal remains of living beings artifacts and fossils they determine their dates and tell us about different groups of people that lived in the past and about their lives what are the roles of archaeologists archaeologists can be called scientists they are also one type of scientists but they are not scientists uh, of uh, physics chemistry or math science subjects they are scientists of history and they study actually the basic meaning of the term scientist is a person who has enough knowledge science or science science means itself knowledge special knowledge so these archaeologists are also scientists they study the skeletal remains of living beings artifacts and fossils they determine their dates and tell us about different groups of people that lived in the past and about their lives as the function of the scientists are to research and impart or share innovative new informations to the people so by studying or doing research on these artifacts fossils the archaeologists also give us such kind of information that's why they are considered as a kind of scientist so we would stop here in our next class we would discuss the rest of the part this is half of our chapter one and half page next day we shall start from this oral sources thank you and have a nice day